Uh, what's happening guys? My name is Dick here. Uh, doing a pickups video, I guess. Got five new NES games, new to me anyway. Um, two of these I got, three of these I got locally uh, from two different stores, and two of them I got on eBay. Um, I haven't done a pickups video in a long freaking time. I meant to do one in February, but I didn't get around to it, but I wanted to do one in February because that would have been my anniversary to my first pickups video ever, which is kind of crazy. My first pickup video. Uh, and I watched my first pickup video, it was pretty funny. I'm like, wow, I just hit like, I got like 10 new subscribers this week, it's crazy. I think I said I had 27 subscribers or 40, which at the time kind of made me nervous. But, uh, so I think Matt plugged me a few times and I was like, oh my god. So I had like 40 subs at the time. Big bucks for those five games, including sleeves. You know, I think I made out okay. Just trying to put some content on here. Just want to say thanks to the new subscribers and everything. It's pretty crazy. I think I just jumped from 20 to like 40 subscribers in a week. So, yeah. But uh, I got so for a year, just over a year, going up to uh, just hitting 500 was cool. So thanks for that. But uh, this isn't a subscriber special video or anything like that. But uh, I thought that was interesting. But, uh, yeah, I don't pick up games too often. Um, and you don't want to do a freaking... Oh, my God. If guys ever start doing pickup videos over digital games and shit, just uh, shoot me, please. Pick up videos where it's like, I downloaded 10 games this week or something like that. Forget it. Forget it. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, first off, I got uh, this from an Oogie Game Store locally. It was $5. It's got... Blockbuster stickers on it's got Oogie stickers on it too because they put their own stickers on it They got their own price tag up on the front and the old Blockbuster video on a sticker on the front here Which I do not really mind But uh, yeah, so it's a stickered up game and I had to clean it up a little bit But uh, it's Batman Returns a Konami title Which is cool because I'm still getting Konami games. I'm still getting Capcom games. So considering I have quite a bit of uh, Capcom games and Konami games uh, this is getting back into the later 90s, though. Early 90s, actually. So, uh, Konami started losing some steam. Everyone started losing steam in those early 90s. Uh, I don't know when this came out, though. I think it came out in 91, 92. Or 90, I don't know. Whenever the movie came out, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Batman Returns. For five bucks, that's not that bad. I, I don't really care about the condition. I mean, the condition's fine. It's just some stickers and shit. But, uh, I have mixed feelings about it. I'll play it again. I would actually like to review this game. Uh, to me, the first time I played it, I did... I beat it, actually. This is a hard game, kind of. Um, I finished it, and, uh, I don't know. If you like Bayou Billy, you might like this game. Let me put it that way. Uh, maybe not quite as hard as Bayou Billy, but, uh... For the first time ever, Konami combines hand-to-hand -hand combat with driving and shooting. And, of course, zapping. Yeah, I'd like to do a review of it. Maybe a walkthrough. But, yeah, Batman Returns for five bucks. I'm cool with that. Alright, let's see what's next. Alright, these two games, I got a, a different local guy, but uh, these are from like his behind-the-counter case things. All his games are usually five bucks, but he's got some uh, games that he thinks are worth more or some shit. With all your Mario 3s and Zeldas and Punch-Outs and Tecmo Bowls and kind of Bubble Bobbles. He kind of keeps those behind the shelf, and uh, these two are from there. This was freaking 30 bucks for these two games. It's disgusting, but uh, at the time, that's what I did. All right, so first off is just plain Jane. Good old Double Dragon here. Uh, I have Double Dragon 2. I used to have 3, sold it. Don't know if I'll ever get it back again. Uh, that one's gone up in price, so silly. Uh, whatever, Double Dragon 1, did not have it. Um, 15 bucks is a lot for this game. Uh, I was kind of attracted to it though. It's and I've seen Double Dragons before uh, in worse shape. Uh, little little ding here on the sticker thing, but uh, uh, really freaking clean copy, man. I mean, pretty clean copy in th through and through and through. So uh, that was mainly my thing for it. I got nostalgia for this game. Uh, I'll have to try to play it. Maybe I don't know if I ever beat Double Dragon. To be honest, I don't think I never have. Ever have. Uh, second one I think I have beaten, but I don't know. Can get to the platforming sections anyway. Might need to practice that one. But, uh, Double Dragon 1, it's good to have. Uh, you know... I'll just shut up. Double Dragon 1. 
All right, next up, again, these two were 30 together, but uh, whatever. This is a dodgeball, a uh, super dodgeball. A, uh, you know, a game by uh, the, the Technos, the same guys that did Double Dragon. Uh, you know, this was published by Trade West, this was published by who these fuckers are, but uh, the Technos guys or whatever. Uh, they make good stuff. This, you know, this game, River City Ransom, uh, Super Dodgeball, the soccer game, World Cup, uh, a lot of other games in Japan, uh, Crash and the Boys Gang, all, all those games, Crash and the Boys, uh, that style. Uh, I played it for like 10 minutes when I got it. I will put some time into it soon. I think it's fun. I want to play it with a friend, co-op game. Uh, this game's probably the best way to learn it is playing with a friend. Yeah, I played it. Maybe 10, 15 minutes. Uh, it's cool. I started to get the hang of it, but I, I do suck at it. I'll tell you that. I do suck at it. But uh, Super Dodgeball, it's kind of a love it or hate it game, I suppose. Yep, I played way too much for it, but uh, my collection's rounding out, and I'm just getting some games that uh, I want. Kind of feel like I need to uh, fill in those little gaps there. I'm not going for a complete collection. I've said this before in other videos before, though. Get shit I like. Alright, these two I just got on eBay. I'm going to say I spent... 20 bucks, little under 20 bucks actually, including shipping all together, a uh, little less for everything. I think this one came to 950, you know, shipping and everything, and this one came to like nine, so maybe, you know, 18 bucks average here. All right, which one do I do first? Here? All right, so this is freaking Tom and Jerry, a uh, kind of uncommon game, I guess. Uh, I played it back in the day, I did not like it, I did not care for it, I kind of. I kind of got this one because uh, it's a high-tech expression game, and when I did uh, Hunt for Red October, I was like, you know, I think Hunt for Red October is actually the best high-tech expression game there is, because their shit is terrible. Uh, they have a worse track record than LJN, in my opinion. LJN, there's a lot of companies that have worse track records than LJN. But um, uh, some people gave me shit and said, oh, Tom and Jerry is definitely the best high-tech expression game. You didn't even mention that one. Uh, so, I mean, I got it, checked it out. Yeah, it's an okay platformer, I guess. Uh, I'd rather play the platformer I got here. But, uh, yeah, it's okay. I played it the other day for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. So I'll try to try to play it again. I don't know. I'm just going to fucking pop it in. Look at that, fires right up. Tom and Jerry and uh, some other cocksucker, whatever his name is. So yeah, it's an okay platformer, I guess. The colors are kind of bland and shit, but whatever. I do like the tune, it's, uh, but it does suffer from major slowdown. Look at this. Oh, look at that slowdown. Oh, I don't know what's even causing that. I guess that butterfly just caused it to slow down. But you know, back in the day, I didn't realize uh, the controls were was as tight as they were. Like, uh, see, it's like a puzzle. It's like a puzzle platformer because, like, you're like, oh, why can't I get up there? We well, gotta jump off the box and get up there, and blah blah blah. Uh, it is kind of a puzzle platformer, though. It is kind of a where do I go, what do I do type of game. But it's not that bad once you get the controls down. Um, yeah, I played it probably like once way back in the day and hated it, but uh, it's not too bad. Uh, it's hard though, I think it's a little too zoomed in uh, on the camera. And I'm not a big fan of where do I go, what do I do games. Even though this is kind of a weird game to classify as that, because it's not Simon's Quest, it's not freaking school school, but uh, I'm gonna fucking call this a where I go, what do I do game, because that's what it freaking is. See, I don't know where to go, what to do. You have to jump up on that, or you get that extra inch, and you get up there, you know. That's cool, though. Some people like that, Stife. Stife. Uh, but, uh, yeah. You know, if you're in the mood for something like this, I think it's a good game. I don't know if I'd go to as far as saying it's better than Hunt for October, because I do kind of have a love-hate with that game. So, I mean, this could be their best game, but it's like... It's a 
platform. Big whoop. One more hit and I'm dead, so I'm trying to play it safer. Oh, you can't see my weapon up there, so obviously you can't freaking hit him. Because if it's not on the screen, it doesn't exist. This also has a... Uh, as far as I can tell, I got the world fucking too. And uh, I do dig this song. It's a very authentic, uh, slow blues riff. Which is fine. But uh, so far it's the only song I've heard, so. Huh. You know what? Last time I played this too, I got weapons. I think I'm screwing up by not looking for everything. But anyway, I had weapons. You hit select, you can go through some weapons. There were some cool weapons, like a hammer, um, some other shit, some bubble. Alright, see. Where do I go? What do I do? So it's got that going for it. Shit, piece of candy. Yeah, that's a that's an item. I think that's bubble gum. Uh, it's got a nice checkpoint system. Obviously, I don't. I'm not really sure where I am right now, but definitely not at the beginning. I don't even think these bugs hit hurt you. I think they just kind of. I can see a lot of people not liking this song, though. But yeah, I think it's okay. I think it's a fallen tune. Tim Fallen. Oh, there's the hammer. So you can select uh, gum and the hammer. You got bullets, though. Which I'm gonna use, I don't care. Should probably save them, but uh. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you gotta be careful in this damn game. Um, I did fight Jerry once. Or Tom. I'm Jerry. I don't freaking know. Uh, it was okay. Yeah, I, I, it's, a, it's a good high-tech expression game, I'll give it that. Here's the end of the level, I think. Oh man, look at that slowdown. What's up with that? Oh, right on, damn, tap. That's cool, you can jump in. Yeah. See, it's a where do I go what I do game. Two long levels. It's a cool game, though. Alright, I think that's enough of that. Alright, so last but not least, uh, Konami Tiny Toons Adventure 1. Uh, it came with a dust sleeve, which was nice. Again, this was a uh, $9.50 out the door. E eBay prices now. It's it, it really sucks it's come to this. It really does. But, uh... I wanted Tiny Toons fucking adventure, okay? I wanted to play it. Um, this is a really good condition copy. Really clean Konami game again. So, true Konami games. I'm keep getting Konami games, man. I got a lot of Konami games. Uh, this is a great one. It's very much a Mario 3 clone. Yeah, fuck it. I should pop it in too. Look at that. Pops right in too. It's a freaking toaster. See that? Toasters. They can be reliable. If you got clean games. So, um... Yeah, Tiny Toons is, uh... I, I wanted it. It was worth ten bucks to me. The guy on eBay, man, he tried to be slick motherfucker, though. Because you saw that sticker on the game. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that punk. I didn't want him as my partner. So, yeah, it's kind of a Mario 3 clone. However, you know, who the fuck wants to play Mario 3? Alright, so, uh, that's cool, that gives you an extra hit. Um, it, it's not a Mario 3 clone, I would consider it a Mario 3 clone. I would consider it a Mario 3 inspired game that's kind of a clone, but it's unique enough. You know what I mean? You got the, uh, the slide, just like in Mario, I get that. If you get that thing, you turn into the other character. You can pick, uh, those three other characters, they're all different attributes. This motherfucker can, uh, I can float around like a duck, you know, like that. And uh, Taz can spin, and he's a little slower and stuff. I really don't like uh, this duck, though. I forget his name, man. Plucky, I think. Um, 
It's a good game, man. It's uh, a lot floatier than Mario, which is uh, not a bad thing for this game. People say floaty controls usually as a bad thing. It can be a really freaking bad thing. Uh, but in this game, you, it's not that bad. It's not a bad floaty. It's a get used to it real quick. Once you get used to it, it's a really kind of cool uh, thing. Because uh, you can kind of jump through the game, you know, float through it. Depending on your character, too. Taz is not floaty, he's just kind of slow, but, you know, see what I mean. You can even get to the point where you can probably fucking, like, jump on one guy, jump on a fucking balloon, jump on that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Really get some, uh, get some combos going. I jumped. I jumped. Oh, man, the controls suck for this game, never mind. Fuck this game. But, uh, yeah, I think this is a good game with Owning for sure. It's way freaking better than Tiny Toons 2. That game sucks. Cox and hell. I don't really give a fuck what anyone else says. They freaking tried to rip off the uh, Disney Magical Kingdom style game and uh, kind of failed at it. Uh, not fun for me at all. Uh, this is more of my thing. Straight up platformer. I will get my 10 bucks worth. I will actually freaking play the game, you know, at some point here. Uh, I hear it's a hard-ass game. I haven't played this game since it came out, to be honest. When it was new. Back in freaking whenever, man. Uh, it's a cool game. Uh, carrots, or 30 carrots get life, but if you get 30 carrots, you don't get a life instantly. You have to go with a freaking pig here. And he, you gotta turn him into him, and he'll give, you a, he'll give you a life for every 30 carrots. I'm not sure if that continues or infinite or not. Uh, there's boss fights and all that type of shit. I don't freaking know. Anyway, so... I haven't done a pickups video in a while. Uh, this is not my usual style, but uh, yeah. I love how that guy tried to get slick with his picture. Look at his picture, man. He was like, I was like, hey, that looks like in pretty good condition. It came with a dust sleeve. That's a nice little bonus, but uh, dude, how come he didn't show the sticker in the picture? I don't give a fuck about that sticker. He tried to hide it. He tried to hide it. Why did you try to hide it, man? You ain't got nothing to hide. It's a $10 game. I would have, uh, I don't get it. That's the only picture you had of the game. It's like, don't try to say you didn't try to cover up that sticker, man. Don't fucking lie to me. Don't fucking lie to me. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching uh, pickups number. I have no idea. I haven't done one of these in so long. I think it's number five, number six. Probably number six. But that's cool. Five new games to the NES collection. Um, all games I wanted on my list, I suppose, worth owning. So, uh, yeah, no, not, you know. Uh, I'm rambling. Thanks for watching. Here's some links to more pickup videos, pickup videos, and uh, blah blah blah. I'm on Patreon now if you want to support me. Um, buy me a beer, metaphorical beer. Uh, it all goes back into the project here. Getting some lights, trying to maintenance and whatnots. Fucking e beggars. Damn e beggars. I think I'm gonna play this game for a bit. Alright, guys, later. Rock on. With your cock out. Rock out with your cock out. What was that? And the game slowed down on me. Oh, this game sucks. Pay nine bucks for the game.